Hey everyone, it's Yoslyn and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be making one of Kiara from Outer Banks' necklace, the white and black one, and it looks like this. And I went to Joann's and I got some beads. I got their pony beads and it came in this packaging and then it also had this attached to it, but I just took the beads out. And it came with all of these colors, but since I only needed white and black, I had to separate them. So over here I have the black beads and I also have the white beads in this one. So I'm going to be using this clear elastic and it's like stretchy and I'm also going to be using this clasp. And I got both of these at Joann's and I also got the beads at Joann's craft store. And I don't remember how much these were but the beads were $3.49. To start off I'm just going to be measuring this clear string around my neck to see how big I want it. I'm going to make mine about this big because I need it a bit bigger so I can tie the clasp on for when I'm done. So my string is 24 inches. I made it bigger because I still have to attach the clasps on. And that's what I'm going to be doing first before putting the beads on. So I'm going to be putting the tiny side on first. So this is the side that I'm going to be tying on first. And I'm going to tie this to the end of the string. And I'm just going to do a regular knot. I put this through and now I'm just going to be tying a knot. So I did one knot and I'm going to do a double knot just so it's extra secure. So you can either do a double knot or you can knot it three times. It's up to you. But I knotted mine three times and I'm just going to cut this excess string. I use my mini scissors. Cut the string. And there it is. Since I'm trying to replicate Kiara's necklace, I'm using these beads, but they are a little bit thicker than hers since hers is like a different, I don't really know if hers is thread or if hers is beads, I'm not sure. But I'm going to be using these and I'm just going to be trying to do the same pattern that she does. So it's mostly like white and then I think it goes black and then white and black. So that's what I'm going to be doing on mine. So I'm going to start off my necklace with three whites. So one, two and three and it looks like that so far so as you guys can see this the beads are on there so i have those beads on i think i'm gonna start off with four beads and then i'm gonna do one black bead and then it's just the more beads you put on it's just gonna start looking like the pattern that she has so i'm gonna put three beads three white beads this time. Since this is the beginning of the necklace, there's not really a lot of white yet or black, so I'm just doing a little bit of each color. Now I'm gonna do one black bead. That's how it's looking so far. And then I'm going to be doing two white beads. I'm gonna be doing one black bead. So if it's like a smaller amount of white, I just use like one to two white beads. And if it's like more black, then I just use my black beads. Doing three whites. There's the first one, and then the second one, and then the third one. This is how my necklace is looking so far. As you guys can see, it has more white beads than black beads, and that's how her necklace is too. It has more white beads. So I did my three whites, and I'm going to do another black bead. Then I'm going to do three more white beads. I'm going to do another black. This time, I'm going to be doing four white beads. There they are. That's how it's looking. And then I'm going to be doing another black bead. And following the black bead, I'm going to be doing three white ones. The necklace is actually really fast to make since all I'm doing is putting beads on the string. And I'm just making the same pattern that she has. Now I'm going to start doing more black than white. So I'm going to do two blacks. I'm be doing two whites. Three blacks. As you guys can see, the pattern's changing since I'm doing a different amount of each color now. But now I'm going to be doing one white bead and four black beads. So there's the fourth one. And it's starting to look like that. And I'm going to be putting one white bead and three black beads. So I did my black beads and now I'm going to be doing white beads. So I'm going to be doing two white beads. And then I'm going to be doing one black bead. Then I'm going to be doing three white beads. So I'm at this point and I'm going to show you guys what the necklace looks like. So, oh no, I dropped it. 
Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what the necklace looks like so far. And this is what it's looking like. I'm not done yet. I still need to put more beads. If you guys get these beads, you can just watch this video and just listen to like how many beads I'm saying each time and then just put them on the necklace and then you'll get the same exact pattern that I got. So I added my three white beads and I'm gonna put one more black one. And then after this black one, I'm gonna be putting a lot of white beads because that's how her necklace goes. So I think I'm gonna do five white beads. My five white beads now, and I'm going to be doing one black bead. I'm going to be doing five white beads again, and I'm going to be doing one black bead. It's my right side, but it's her left side. The necklace starts getting a lot more white beads than black, so that's what I'm going to start doing. So I'm going to be putting six white beads, and then I'm going to put one more black bead. And then this time, I'm just going to be doing one white bead, and then one black bead. When you're doing this, keep measuring it around your neck, that way you don't put too many beads. So that's what I've been doing, I've just been going like this, and then I can see how many more beads I need. Put five white beads. So it goes a lot of white beads, and then a lot of black beads, and then a lot of white beads again. I'm going to put one black bead, then one white bead, and then another black bead. I'm going to be putting five more white beads. I'm also going to be doing another version of the necklaces that she wears. I'm going to be doing the pink necklace, but I'm going to be using different beads. So that video is going to be coming soon. I'm going to be doing one black bead. Then do one white bead. So I'm going to do another black bead. I'm going to be doing six white. So here's how it's looking so far. And I'm almost done. I just need a couple more beads. So I'm going to do one black bead, and then I'm going to be doing six white beads. Done with the amount of beads that I need. Oop, I think it's about to fall. No! No. <laughs> okay, I got it. It didn't fall. I'm going to tie a knot at the end of this. That way the beads don't fall off while I'm trying to tie the other clasp to it. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to triple knot this, just in case. I just tied my knots, and I had a lot of excess string, so you guys can definitely cut less than 24 inches. I think I cut a bit too much, but now I'm going to be putting on my clasp. So I'm just going to be putting this through. Now I'm just going to be tying my knots. So I'm going to do three knots on this. So I'm just going to do one, or actually I might need more. I'm not sure. I'm just going to do one knot. And these are just regular knots. I tied my knots and I'm just going to be cutting the excess string off. I'm just going to cut this excess. And my necklace is now done. I just tied the end of it and this is how the pattern of the necklace looks. And now I'm going to try this on so you guys can see how it looks. I turned the lights on so if the lighting looks different, that's why. But I have the necklace on now. And it just looks like this. As you guys can see, it has a lot of white beads over here. And then it has a lot of black beads. And then it goes back to a lot of white beads. So this necklace took me about 15 minutes. So it was actually really fast to do. Usually my necklaces take longer to make. But since this one was only beads, it took a lot less time than they usually do. I really like these colors because they match with a lot of things. Like white and black are one of the colors that can go with anything. This necklace is really cute. So I'm just going to keep it on because it's matching with what I'm wearing. Since I'm just wearing a black shirt. So it matches with a lot of outfits. If you guys want to make this necklace, you can also use other colors to make it. And I still have extra black and white beads left over. Even though I can't show those because they're in the little tray. But yeah, I still have all these beads left over so I can make a whole bunch of other necklaces with different colors. But that is it for today's video. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!